Here one. Push me. Five to. Bang on my butt. Two! Right now, we're learning about the tragedy of Hoshi Academy. We're about to learn about chapters here and six. That's cool. We're about to learn about the most, what was it called? The most, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Did I get that name right? I don't know. But my guess is that if it's another manga, it's going to be in that room that the killing actually occurred in. Sonya's gone. Okay, well, it's not in there. Well, that's sucky. Oh, it's in here, okay. Raw. Wow. What the heck is with this room? It's freaking cold in here. It's like I'm in a freezer or something. If I just stand still, I might end up freezing to death. I should hurry up and investigate so I can get out of here already. Alright, let's look at stuff though. This looks like a plastic part. Why is it left out like this? Clean up after yourselves, will you? <laughs> what? Uh, I've been found. What? <laughs> I didn't even see that. I didn't know we were still getting them. I've seen this in movies before. It's a refrigerator for preserving dead bodies. At least that's what it looks like. That's not possible, right? Keeping dead bodies in a high school bio lab isn't something you should joke about. It just feels so forced. The idea should have been canceled out during development or something. Hmm? What am I thinking? Keep talking about development, I love that. Oh wow, that's creepy. There's another manga just laying around here. This time the title is Manga for Morons, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. I knew it. The next one would obviously be about this incident. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, huh? So what was that incident really all about? It might turn out to be something lame. Flip through the pages of the manga and hope that I was right. That's creepy. story about creepily drawn characters who get involved in such horrifying incidents. An incident known as the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Is this drawn so grotesquely because the incident itself was that grotesque? Anyway, the beginning of this creepy manga starts with this sentence. The tragic tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy was simply the trigger. At first, the uprising by the Resort Corps students that triggered the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy was initially hoped to be resolved quickly. If the situation continued to escalate to dangerous extremes, the movement started spreading all over the internet and fostered a thriving online community. The community was not limited to students and people of various races and nations began joining in. But the movement was not confined to the internet and began spreading and eroding the real world. When the movement started, it was indistinguishable from any other demonstration inspired by social unrest. But as it spread across the world, certain abnormalities soon came to light. By then it was too late, the ends and the means had vanished, and wanton destruction became their only goal. The strong butchered the weak, the weak killed the weakest among them, and soon the weak formed factions to brutally murder the strong. As the violence and death continued to spread, the shock of their actions began to disappear. As if the era was regressing to more uncivilized times, when senseless deaths were, in the, were the norm. The media was oversaturated with deaths to the point where people would watch them while enjoying a meal. By the time the world realized what it had become, it was too late to stop what had happened. The feeling of immense despair began spreading and eventually engulfed the world. Acts of terrorism and coup d'etats began occurring around the world. A war waged in the name of despair. A war fought not for the principles, religion, or personal gain. Just war. Pure war. And because of that, there was no way to resolve it. How could a movement started by high school students progress to such a hopeless scenario? Only explanation is the, excess, the existence of a certain organization, devoted to a certain student who influenced Hope to Peak Academy, a group called Ultimate Despair. Instead of using Hope to Peak Academy's talents for the sake of mankind's hope, they use them for the sake of mankind's despair. Key members of society use their influence to brainwash the masses in order to spread despair. Tech-savvy computer programmers wrote software to spread despair. The powerful and influential created new values and morals to spread despair. And with this, they created the tragedy, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. As long as ultimate despair exists, the despair engulfing the world will never end. Never end. The tragedy will never end.
My heart was racing in my chest, and my body felt ice cold. And it wasn't because I was freezing in this room. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. This is definitely all made up. I mean, this is really true. Then, what's happening in the outside world? My family, my friends, the convenience store I frequent, the nearby bookstore, my favorite restaurant? What's happened to them? No hey, hey, are you seriously yelling at a manga? How crazy are you? Who would enjoy reading a manga, reading something like this? Oh my, you don't like manga? A high school student who doesn't like manga is like an office lady who doesn't like to eat candy. Enough! What is this messed up manga? <laughs> I thought you'd obviously know about such a horrible event that destroyed the world, but for you not to remember that, such despair. That's the Future Foundation's fault, though, thanks to them stealing your school memories. The incident that happened during the period has been completely removed from your brains. This incident really happened? And I actually forgot about it? There's no way that's possible. How many times do I have to tell you? All the clues here are real. Please understand, I'm rooting for you. If you don't learn about the full extent of the outside world, you guys will suffer for it. I just want to help you guys so you can live well-adjusted lives in the outside world. I see. So that's how it is. That's what he meant by what he said at the beginning. Well, as the headmaster, I'm conflicted, you know. On one hand, I'm really happy that you're finally going to get graduate. But on the other hand, I'm worried about whether you guys will be okay in the outside world. That's why I'm thinking about telling you what the outside world is like before you make a decision. Why do you want to leave Jabberwock Island or stay here? He's trying to make us feel despair toward the outside world so we'll want to stay on this island. But there's no way I'm going to do what he wants. Despair, is, despair like that simply can't exist. The outside world should be filled with hope. Just like now. Crap. No, that's definitely it. Huh. Wow. Whether or not this incident really happened, what in the world is this ultimate despair group? If they're devoted to a certain student who guided Hope's Peak Academy to its destruction, are they connected to both the tragedy and the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy? Plus, that organization isn't just one person, but a group of people. But if they're known as ultimate despair, they're, they're high school students, right? Well, they were actually able to do it, and I guess that's why they were called ultimates. Then, are the killings were involved in connected to them as well? It's no use. I'm gonna freeze to death. Uh, I'm Emily Leland. I need to get out of here. Shivering, I ran out of the freezing room. Fudge, man. Phew, that was close. I nearly froze to death. So where should I go next? Alright, I need... Just give me one moment. Alright, let's go. Not there. Hmm, oh, maybe the... The garden. I don't know. No. I guess it's gonna be some place that has the yellow aura on it. Uh, right here. Or doesn't have it anymore. That used to have it. No, I should ignore it. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see him. Jeez. When I went inside this room, that B-tard bear was suddenly here. He keeps glancing at me. I wonder why. Hm. It's gonna be crappy either way. Damn right. So I'll let you handle it. There's no way I'm gonna deal with that idiot. I don't wanna do that either. Hiya. Why, hello, Hajime. I hope you're doing pleasingly well. Are you pleasingly well? You're pleasingly well, right? What are you doing here? No, oh, no. there was another thing I needed to tell you on this floor. <laughs> I got bored of drawing manga. Can you forgive me for telling you by word of mouth? You should have done that from the beginning. I didn't want to read your manga in the first place. A high school student who doesn't like manga is like a sumo wrestler who doesn't like eating hot pots. <laughs> Getting really fed up with your babbling. Hurry up. What do you need to tell me? <laughs> it's about that key piece of information you've been waiting so long for. What? Surprise! It's about ultimate despair. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> Even though the term ultimate despair refers to a group these days, Actually, it was originally the title for a high school girl who was the most powerful evil and feared being alive. Was that Junko? A uh, high school girl? Yes, indeed. Lady Junko Enoshima. Junko Enoshima. Hey, um... As the former ultimate despair, she created a despair brimming with charm and humor and created the ultimate despairs. <laughs> there is one really horrible person in that group. Hold on a sec. I don't know what the ultimate despairs are, but it's not that easy to form an organization. 
There's no way people would just join some fudged up organization created by a high school girl. Humans who are obsessed with their philosophy have an uncanny power to attract others. It's a trait shared by many famous leaders throughout the history, right? There's nothing strange about it. That holds true for Lady Junko. With her charismatic ability to attract people, she even influenced those in the highest echelons of power. Her connections were the main reason that incident became the tragedy in the first place. So she even recruited people who would have been in a position to neutralize the threat? Huh? And what was their purpose? Huh? What? Well, like I said, why did they cause the incident? It doesn't even make sense. They had a purpose, right? There's no way they'd do what they did without any purpose. Hey, it was um... Juko and Ashima's despair. Huh? For Juko and Ashima, despair isn't about purpose, a set of principles, a way of life, or an instinct. Despair is what defines Juko and Ashima as Junko and Ashima. What are you saying? <laughs> I'm a stuffed plushie. Hajime is a human. It's exactly like that. Junko Enishima is full of so much despair that she's truly hopeless. Living, dying, eating, loving. For her, everything is despair. What the heck? With her overwhelming force of personality, Junko recruited the ultimate despairs one by one. She controlled their despair by taking advantage of their love, hate, grudges, anything really. Junko's despair is far more dreadful than any other's. That idea has been slammed right into their minds. And so, the ultimate despairs who have been recruited became nothing more than Juko's limbs. All despair, whether it was their own or anyone else's, was dedicated to Juko and Ashima. Like believers making offerings to their god. Like a mother providing food to her children. They dedicated all despair they so they could escape from despair, all in Juka and Ashima's name. For example, they killed their families and friends, and even destroyed their bodies through relentless mutilation. And to hopelessly top it off, they completely believed it was something they had to do. But there's no way that something that crazy is possible. I wonder if Junko said something about having to kill her sister in the first game. I don't quite remember. Do you know about the final days of the Reserve Corps students during the tragedy of Host Peak Academy? The final days? In other words, Junko has the power to change people's values. This is also true of famous people throughout history. Hey, what do you mean final days? What happened to the Reserve Department? Of course. They fulfilled their role as disposable limbs. They believed in what they needed to do. <laughs> and so, the 2,357 students of the Reserve Department all committed mass suicide. Mass suicide? What'd you say? All, all 2,357 students? <laughs> Oops, it wasn't all of them. One person was excluded, is that me? One person was excluded, huh? Is that me? Damn it. I, I don't believe it. There's no way I can believe this. Ultimate Despair? Junko Enoshima? <laughs> doesn't scare me at all. I mean, Bastard. Junko Enoshima is already dead. Huh? Oh, wow. Alright, I'm gonna just leave here. Yukushima is already dead. What does that mean? Why does Yuhiko know about that? Oh, that's right, I guess I should ask him. Hey, Fuyuhiko, is it true what you said? Junko Enoshima is really dead? Huh? What? You didn't see? There was a book called Manga for Morons Killing School Life in that bloody classroom. Bloody classroom? No, wait, what was that you said about the killing school life? Like the killings were involved, we were involved in. They were killings that happened at Hope Peak Academy. As I recall, the mastermind took their own life because the remaining students worked together to defeat her. Well, yeah. That's what it was. The killing school life ended up failing in the, uh, in the end. As a result, the six students who survived managed to escape the, from the academy. Hey. For a manga about the killing school life, it was drawn with a lot of silly images and dumb gags. According to that, the mastermind behind the failed killing school life was. Junko Enoshima. The mastermind took her own life? Which means Junko Enoshima is dead? Life. Turns out that killing school life was part of the whole biggest, most awful, whatever incident. Junko took away the memories of former students of Hope's Peak Academy and forced them to kill each other. Former students of Hope's Peak Academy. She took away their memories. That's just like us. Apparently the whole thing was being filmed by surveillance cameras and broadcast worldwide. <laughs> There's a limit to being a cool a-hole. Balance cameras were broadcasting the whole thing? Yeah. Students at Hope's Big Academy are widely known as symbols of hope. 
by forcing people to watch these symbols of the Pope kill each other for the sake of survival. They were trying to fill everyone who watched the broadcast with despair at all, all at once. That's messed up! But that messed up plan was stopped. Junko and Ashima failed. Junko lost to the students she placed in her trap, and after being overcome by the despair she created, she took her own life. Then, Junko is no more. No matter how horrible she was, there's no reason to fear someone who's dead. Whether Monokuma's story is true or not, doesn't matter. Junko Enoshima isn't alive anymore. Then, who is our enemy? If Junko Enoshima is already dead, are the rest of the ultimate despair behind this? Are the followers of Junko carrying out her will? That's the only thing I can think of. I mean, the killings we're involved in resemble that killing school life. Well, I don't know who the heck is imitating Junko and making us go through this, but... An imitation is just that. An imitation. No shit. If the students from Hope's Peak Academy stop the real deal, there's no way we'll lose to someone fi some fake. But this is really an imitation. Are those surveillance cameras the same, too? Cameras all over Jabberwock Island. Are they broadcasting somewhere? Just like the surveillance cameras during the, the killing school life? Wow. See, I don't even know where to begin with, with all these once the exam begins. Hajime, you totally know all about that story, huh? What, do you have a problem with that? Well, I really wanted you to read the manga version since I took the time to draw it. What are you gonna oh well, do? I'll just raise the flag. Flag? What do you mean, raise the flag? What's going to happen if you do that? Ooh, One step at a time, you're getting closer to clearing my character out. You're not making any sense again. Well, now. now then, I'll give you guys my all. I'll tell you everything I know, including information on the outside and the inside. Yeah. I'll raise them flags like crazy. What? what a surprise. Do you want to hear about the ultimate despair scan? No, I don't really need you to. Hey, Even the term um... ultimate despair refers to a group these days. There's actually a term used to describe Junko and Ashima, the ultimate despair. The original, he just started on his own. As a former ultimate despair, she created despair brimming with charm and humor, and created the ultimate despairs. With her charismatic ability to attract people, Dang it, am I really gonna listen to it all? It's fine already. You don't have to keep explaining. Huh? It's fine already. I'm just getting to the good part. Good part or not, I've already heard this from you before. That was a mistake. Let's get out of here. Oh god, we're on the fourth floor. Huh? It, it changed to a different hallway again. It's so sudden. What's going on to make something like this happen? No, I've already decided that. I'm not going to be surprised. That's right, there's no time for me to be surprised by something like this. Alright, give me one more moment again. I'm I'm sorry. Alright, let's get rolling. What's up, Akane? Akane's switching her nose like a beast and examining her surroundings. Hey, what happened? Based on my well, you know, it's my gut, but I feel like someone's getting closer. Huh? What do you mean? Who? So... I don't know. It's just my gut after all. It's just my gut. But still. Your gut is pretty impressive. For some reason, it's strangely intuitive. And Monokuma did say something about the main cast coming. It's surprising, but your gut must be correct again this time. Oh, yeah. Hmm. It's so weird being back here. Ugh, I don't like when it does that. It's so creepy. Alright, uh... Oh, here we go. What the? This looks like a music room. I feel like I can see something strange. Interact with the piano first, just for the fun of it. It's a very nice looking grand piano. Must be very valuable. Ibuki. Might have been able to play this. Looks like it's some sort of monument. Why would there be a monument in a music room? And not just that. The mark engraved into the monument is a symbol of the future foundation, right? Below that symbol, there's a short passage engraved. To combat the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, the graduates of Host Peak Academy were among the many who established the future foundation. Huh? Future Foundation was established. 
Are the graduates of Host Peak Academy? Uh, aren't they known as World Ender? It's completely different. Monokuma, he completely made it up. Alright. What is this? Words are floating in the air. This is like a hologram, right? Floating letters are forming a sentence. It looks like a passage from an email. Regarding the report we gave you the other day, we have obtained information. A person who claims to be a survivor of Hope's Peak Academy. Upon further investigation, there are a total of 15 survivors. You may be wondering about the number of people at this time. If they're survivors of Hope's Peak Academy, it's possible they may be targeted by ultimate despair. We believe we should acquire them and place them in our care as soon as possible. But I don't believe the group can go that far without Junko and Oshima rallying them. In a worst case scenario, we must prevent a repeat of this killing school life. Also, if they are survivors of Hope's Peak Academy, we should expect them to be quite valuable to us. However, we are still investigating the details of their origins, and we haven't located them either. We will continue investigating this matter. Also, regarding a separate matter, we have received a report from the research facility on Jabberwock Island. Preparations have been completed. It seems we can proceed with the experimental phase of the Neo World Program. Survivors of Host Peak Academy? Fifteen students? Is that about us? Excluding Chiaki who is part of the Future Foundation, there were definitely fifteen of us, but... What do survivors mean? It's like we're talking from some other world. What happened outside Jabberwock Island? The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is really true. Then the world isn't normal anymore, maybe. I'm starting to feel like we might be better off not remembering the memories we've lost. Oh, man. I guess that's all the clues in this room. Finally confirmed. The Future Foundation is on our side, at least. They were founded by the graduates of Host Peak Academy. They took us in to protect us. But if that's true, Chiaki should have made that clear to us. No, as long as Monokuma was around, he probably couldn't say anything carelessly. Monokuma. He's the Future Foundation's enemy, and his true identity must be the ultimate despairs who caused the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. The ones who are carrying out the will of Junko and Ashima and are making us go through this. Also, this caught my attention in the email, too. What is this research facility on Jabberwock Island mentioned in the email? What's that about? Is that that administrative building that they were talking about? The only future foundation facility we found was that ancient ruin. There's no way that's the research facility. If there really is a research facility on this island, there should be other future foundation members here. Somehow, there's still m so many mysteries. Boy. Ugh, that's so weird. Alright, let's check the Dean's office. Oh, no, hold on. Here we go. Teacher Lounge. By the way, how's everybody doing? I'm doing marvelously, thank you. This doesn't look like it did last time. This feels different from a classroom. It's probably the office, right? I mean, the room kind of has that stuffy teacher vibe to it. The office, huh? Now that you mention it, it does look like that. More importantly, have you seen Miss Sonia? I don't see her anywhere. As long as this guy gonna be obsessed with Sonia, give it up already. <laughs> Poor guy. I saw you though. Huh? Are you serious? Alright, man, I should have spent my Puma coins, but I know you can buy other stuff with Puma coins, so. Flowers. On top of the desk? Plus, it looks strange to me. My eyes just tired. Hmm? There's something written on the blackboard. What's written here? Whoa. List of subjects is written on the blackboard in large letters. Just before, below that are names I've seen before. So let me read these. Okay. So, Hyoko, Hajime, Chiaki. Why is Chiaki listed there? Kazuchi, Kane, Sonia, Peko, Nagito, Gundam. It's an imposter, still hasn't revealed his name. Makiru, Mikan, Uki, Teratera, Nekomaru, and Fuhiko. So everybody's. Everybody is, uh. Is there. There's a newspaper posted on the blackboard. Below that, Kyoko Sayanji is written there. What is this newspaper?
What is this? It says Miss Hyoko Sionji. This can't mean the same Hyoko, right? I mean, the Hyoko we know. She was much smaller and looked more childlike. It was pretty much her defining feature. But the photo in this newspaper, in a way, I can see the resemblance to Hyoko. But her height and figure is too different from the Hyoko we know. What does this mean? Huh? This lady looks pretty mature. Is she Hyoko's older sister or something? No. It says Hyoko Sionji here. No. Uh. Oh, then Hyoko has an older sister with the same first and last name. An older sister with the same first and last name. I mean... That's the only explanation, right? I mean, look at it for yourself. That's not Hyoko. But did you ever hear her mention an older sister? Yeah. Well, it's not like I was that close to her or anything. She doesn't have an older sister. Hyoko is the Sionji family's only daughter. She doesn't have a sister. Not a relative? No, there's still too much of a resemblance. What are you That's Hyoko. Saying? Huh? Of course well, what are you saying? Hyoko doesn't have a curvy body like this. I mean, she was famous for her childlike figure. She got away with all kinds of crap for looking like that. Well... I don't know what to tell you. Maybe she has a growth spurt? What are you saying? He's already dead. There's no way she could have had a growth spurt. <laughs> Today, well, regardless, I'm all the clues I've provided are true. If they weren't, it wouldn't be fair. What's going on? What the heck? This is the truth? This is the truth. And the Yoko in this newspaper. Is he really saying that this is the same person? That's impossible. I mean, how can there be a photo of a grown-up Kyoko when she's already dead? Why, why does this even exist? Hey, hey. Could it be? Related to that list of subjects over there? Huh? This is bad. If it's the subjects, it means there was some kind of experiment, right? Did that experiment change Kyoko's body? Oh, what am I saying? Just saying it out loud makes, me, makes it sound messed up. What experiment? Some kind of experiment. It would mean that we're also test subjects, right? I mean, our names are also written on the blackboard under the list of subjects. But what kind of experiment was it? What's going on? What's going on? I better not have anything to do with time travel. Wow. This is weird. Huh. And is there a reason for the groupings, too? I wonder. An extremely overwhelming portrait is hanging on the wall. I feel like I've seen it before. The name next to it, on, into the placard says, Coast Peak Academy Founder, Izuru Kamakura, Kamukura. That's where I, I saw that in the fun house. Founder of Coast Peak Academy. And this name, Izuru Kamukura. Doesn't this clearly contradict the information I obtained earlier? Darn it, another mystery. Wow. Alright, let's go. Get out of here. Oh, we gotta read the email. There are letters floating in the air, like the music room from earlier. Looks like a passage from an email someone wrote. I think it's the same one from earlier. I guess I should read it. We understand this matter regarding the survivors. In order to safely acquire them, please do your best and continue your investigation. However, you must exercise extreme caution concerning the remnants of despair. Even though they have lost Junko and Ashima, the fact remains that they are incredibly dangerous. Even after her death, the tragedy has not ended. Perhaps there's still a leader on par with Junko and Ashima. As long as we do nothing about the remnants of despair, we will not be able to end this incident. For this reason, the remnants of despair must be immediately eliminated once they are discovered. Everything is for the sake of a shining future. I immediately eliminated? Does that mean this is an order to kill them? That doesn't sound peaceful at all. Well, I guess that's understandable. If the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is as terrible as it sounds, it's pretty much all-out war. If the remnants of despair are the ones waging that war, there's no way they'd be forgiven that easily. Wow. God, I don't know how I'm going to get through this last thing. Okay, with this, you've totally raised all the flags on this floor. Congratulations, Hajime. You should now go on to the next stage. Next stage? Alright. Third floor. Oh my. Darn it, not again. The hallway is different from the last time. 
I guess when that flag Monica mentioned is raised, I'll move to a different hallway than the last. How can you do that? No, now's not the time to be confused by that. Thinking about it is just going to waste my energy. Wow, wow. Huh, that's... Wow, that's cool. Alright. We're gonna go to the art studio. The game room, maybe? Okay, can't go in there. Can't... Oh, that's where I came from. That's why. Uh, where's that art studio? Oh, that was this way. Here we go. Or is this the game room? This is the game room, okay. What else is there? The pool is on the next floor. So, let's just go to the game room. Sakura. This is her resting ground. There's a billiard table, and a dartboard, and a shelf lined with magazines. It's hard to think a room like this actually exists inside a school. <clears throat> oh, fuck. Lock or two. <clears throat> Am I gonna see the Toko written in there? There's a lot of different magazines here. Fashion, motorcycle, martial art, motorcycles, martial arts, school, sports, computer, travel. There's even a magazine about cameras. My hero would have been happy to see this. There's a dartboard. This is a, still a school, right? Or did Monokuma just randomly make this up? This place up. It's a nice, firm-looking leather sofa. Looks like it'd be comfortable for anyone to sleep in. It's very comfortable for, uh, for Sakura. Alright. It's a file with Hope Peak Academy seal on it. It says confidential. That means this is a big secret, right? Why would an important document be here? Why am I even asking a question like that? Obviously, Monokuma is responsible. Anyway, I need to confirm what's inside the file. About the Hope Cultivation Plan. For many years, Hope's Peak Academy has conducted rigorous research into various talents. The Hope Cultivation Plan seeks to use the fruits of our labor to further our true goal. With our hands, we will birth a true hope that will bring hope to the entire world. Truly, the program is the next innovation in providing the ultimate education. This plan has been the Academy's wish since its foundation, so we must succeed at all costs. What followed was a series of detailed instructions and intricate orders. It was full of difficult technical terms, and I had no idea, I had no idea what any of them meant. However, the word true hope left a strong impression on my mind for some reason. The hope cultivation plan was created for the sake of birthing true hope. Hope's Peak Academy was behind something like that? I don't really get it, but there's something about these words. True hope, huh? This hologram again. What's this one say? It looks like another email passage. Regarding the report we gave you the other day, we finally succeeded in acquiring them and have placed them in our care. Though they were all dispersed, we were successful in acquiring all 15 of them. Due to the fact that we are unable to ask them about specific details, it is unknown how they managed to survive the tragedy. It's been reported that some are wounded, so it seems certain that they survived under harsh conditions. Over the course of our detailed investigation, we determined that they are the same age as the others, so we have decided to entrust them to the survivors of the killing school life. As for the remnants of despair, there are still no solid leads regarding this matter. We have no new information to report. We will continue with the investigation. Once they are discovered, we shall eliminate them immediately. Everything is for the sake of a future filled with hope. Oh man. All these bullets getting updated. It says here that they succeeded in acquiring them and have placed them in our care. That means we should have been protected by the Future Foundation, right? Then, why is this happening? If the Future Foundation was protecting us, why were we forced to kill each other on this island? Well, I guess it's not possible that the Future Foundation set this all up. What's this? My, my, Hajime. If you keep worrying like that, you're gonna get a toothache and collapse. It's your fault. What is this hologram thing, anyway? Hey, it's exactly um... what it looks like. They're the Future Foundation's emails. I thought they made this perfectly clear. So I thought it, I did a little bit of hacking here and there to get them. You can even do that? 
Whoever's controlling you seems to possess many pal talents. No, no. Well, who cares about me anyway? That's not important at all. There's no way that's not important. This tried enemy should connect everything to what's happening right now. So... Oh, it's getting silent. What if that was Chalky's email? What? Looks like I'm in a different hallway again. Pretty much used to it by now. But even so... What is this space? Am I dreaming or something? I mean, this is just totally disconnected from reality. <laughs> this is so weird. It's close. It's very close. Someone is coming. Connie's switching her nose and examining her surroundings. Based on my gut They're feeling. definitely real close. At least, that's what my gut is telling me. Then answer this with your gut. Is it an enemy or an ally? Let's see. My gut is feeling. My gut is feeling is. They're both! Yeah. He's right. They're both. Both? What do you mean? You. I don't know any details. It's just my gut after all. Well, that's true, I guess. Let me quick check the dookies. Oh, two dookies. Oh, the despair we never went up. I'm sorry, bro. Or sis. Dude, this music. Break it down like. Aw. Oh. I love this ape music. I can't wait to get the soundtrack for this, dude. Hmm. Oh my god. This is definitely... This is supposed to be the second floor, but... It's so weird. I don't recognize it when it's completely upside freaking down. Oh, here we go. It's a library, that's right. Am I gonna see Bianca here? The real one, I mean. Wow. This must be a library. Monokuma probably left something here, too. I sure hope I can find it. No laptop, of course. So it should just be... Oh, I, I got leveled up just from doing that? It's hologram again. Must be another one of the Future Foundation's emails. I should read it. There's no doubt that it's another clue. To Future Foundation 14th Division. Makoto Naegi. Where are you guys? What are you doing right now? What are you doing? What you're doing is a serious act of treason. Do you understand? Why are you protecting the remnants of despair? It should be abundantly clear to you how dangerous it is to keep these people alive. Stay calm and think about this carefully. You guys are being lied to. Think carefully about what's important to bring light of hope to the world. The sticks of you join the, the Future Foundation because you agree with our ideals, right? The Future Foundation rescued you from the tragedy you survived and cooperated with recovering your memories. Immediately return the remnants of despair to our headquarters. Unless we eliminate them, the tragedy will never end. Everything is for the sake of a future filled with hope. What does this mean? This email suggests that someone was trying to let the remnants of despair escape. This email is addressed to Koto Naegi. But he's with the Future Foundation, right? Then why was he trying to protect the remnants of despair? Did he betray the Future Foundation? Ooh, man. So maybe he leaked information about the Future Foundation's plan to take those survivors to Jabberwock Island. That would kind of make sense. But why, Makoto? Why would you do something so sinister? Huh. Dude, this music is so banging. Huh. Check it out, like. Check it out, like. Huh. Go on a class 2B. 2B. Or not to be. I think that I made that joke previously. Okay. Okay, that was very dramatic. Oh, wait, <laughs> wait a minute. Huh? Didn't I walk into a classroom? I don't really get it, but um, this looks like a laundry room. There's no use worrying about it. But I was in a school, and now I'm suddenly in a laundry room. Oh, I can't read that. Oh, but I can read that. What was that? This looks like a tablet computer. Looks like the power is on too. Is this the next clue? I picked up the tablet and immediately started examining it. Neo World Program. The word Neo World. I seem to recall hearing it and seeing it a few times already. The Neo World Program has another name. Psychotherapeutic Communication Simulator. 
The Neo World program is built with the most recent psychotherapy technology and administrative software. To develop the Neo World program, individuals such as the ultimate programmer, the ultimate neurologist, and the ultimate therapist were among the many talented people whose research results were utilized, but wasn't the ultimate programmer Chihiro? By mounting a device to the cranium, the Neo World program allows its subjects to experience a synthetic virtual world. Additionally, the Neo World program has another feature. It can replace memories formed in the real world with information contained in the synthetic virtual world. Therefore, it is possible to undo trauma sustained in the real world through the use of the virtual world. However, this device is for psychotherapeutic purposes only. Any other use is expressly forbidden. Though it's highly effective in treating brainwashing, using this device risks total personality destruction. Thus, extreme care must be exercised when operating this program. So Jabberwock Island might not even be real. Slowly, everything around me turned black. Synthetic virtual world? Program? Feeling of emptiness, like everything else is being tainted. Feeling of weakness, like the world is collapsing beneath my feet. Everything is starting to feel meaningless. The desperate attempts, the sad goodbyes, the conflicts, the trust I felt until now. It's all disappearing until I fe all I feel is... despair. Ah! I scream loudly as if I was confirming the sound of my own voice. There's no way I can accept this. I am starting to accept that. This... This... Th there's no way! Some something as crazy as this actually exists! Nice! You gotta raise the flags more in order to clear my character out. <laughs> now then, despair is waiting for you. Impossible. This is impossible. It's all made up. Everything is all made up. Made up? Including... Me too? Oh boy. Oh, so weird. Hiya. How are you doing? Did you enjoy the killing school trip? By the way, do you guys remember the speech I made at the beginning? From this point on, I promise you a world that truly deserves to be called a game. <laughs> you guys are the only ones watching th this who can save them. The end of the world is nigh. What you gonna do? What's gonna happen? Isn't it exciting? Isn't it heart throbbing? Look forward to it. <laughs> oh my god. This hallway. When we first arrived here, I walked down this hallway from the classroom to get to the gym. I don't really see a resemblance, but... Unless... Oh my god. This might be part of the Neo world right now. But I would imagine Jabberwock Island would be more so like it. Dude, I gotta end it right there. Holy fudge, though. It is getting crazy. Alright, so... Thank you guys for watching. Like this video if you liked it, dislike it, dislike it. As always, peace!